Um. Okay then. What the hell just happened? I feel like I'm supposed to fiddle with something here. I guess it probably has something to do with this. Wait. I, I can't for the life of me figure out how I'm supposed to do this. Is there like something else I should be worrying about here? Okay, so that just leads up to there. that I have to do something with them. That might actually be useful. going this way. What is that 
sound. I hear the heartbeat. I don't like it. gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber at Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah, okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the Abyss. That does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the Ark here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? I finally, I've decided to finalize the arc with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all you who want to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan. I don't, don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just want to say something. What's left? Apply interface module, seal art capsule, ask permission from 4Q, Reef Ivishkin, Lindwall, Predison, and Hill. Take shuttle to Omicron, pick up the power suits, ride the chain, ride the climber into the abyss, regroup at Tau, head to the launch side, load the bullet, launch the arc. Okay. Arc okay. Okay, so it's at Tau, and one more thing, Arc Attitude Survey. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out this short survey. Recently it was decided that the Arc project would become Path 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite the Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Arc project is the most logical step towards saving mankind and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. To, complete it. to embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism before using a pilot seat. Flush with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scan sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes last up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave the Earth behind and be launched into space. Yeah. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of using our humanity if we are to rid ourselves of our disease and our mortality. Sure. I disagree with that slightly. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. 
A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Uh, I actually disagree with that. Maybe slightly smarter. Mark approval, only 12% agreed. Turning among the stars, 68. Inferior companions, pain for gain, artificial evolution. Alright, let's see what else we've got here. The Earth doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were super. Yeah, very superstitious, in fact. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity and payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. <laughs> I mean, considering that I am in fact a diving suit after. Alright. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 hold on, back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. Um, is now a good time to pull you out? Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. How does one do that? I see power cables sitting on here. I think that's it. Switch it down there. No, it's not. Here's the thing. No device connected. This is the arc. Oh wait. Here we go. Bingo.
so I have to delete things. So I don't need like, yeah I do need some, do I need college? No. I don't need like supposed to So I need that. Okay. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this thing? Okay, maybe I have to put this one. Let's try this. Try loading a dummy scan. It shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. I'm not 